Hi students, today we are going to learn about the very important molecules which are dietary origin that are allyl sulfur compounds and also capsaicinides. The word which we when we remember about the allyl sulfur compounds we immediately remember the food garlic and onion. When it is the capsaicinides the word capsaicinides remembers the hot pepper or the chilies which we commonly consume in our country. So, today we are going to learn about the allyl sulfur compounds particularly their sources, their metabolism, their processing effects and their health benefits particularly in the non-communicable diseases as well as in the infectious diseases too. Hot pepper and chilies which are commonly consumed where the capsaicin molecule which has been demonstrated against many inflammatory problems and the many benefits particularly in the pain relief and other areas has been attributed. New research is emerging particularly in the capsaicinoids area. Therefore, these two important food components which are abundantly present in the various sources which we are going to deal and we learn and we can utilize this as a dietary management for the many diseases. After completing this module, the learner will be able to know the concepts of allyl S compounds and its biological property, capsaicinoids and its biological property, beneficial effect of garlic and chilies on human health and wellness. First we begin with the allyl S compounds. Allyl sulfur compounds are organic derivatives of sulfur compounds extensively present in genus allium which consists of garlic that is allium sativum and onion that is allium sepa. The allyl sulfur compounds demonstrating immense biological functions which includes antimicrobial, antioxidative and anti-cancerous properties both in vivo and in vitro. In garlic, allicin is the first sulfur compound extensively analyzed. A scientist from American organic group called Cavalito and Bailey isolated this compound in 1944. Interestingly, the compound was generated only during crushed or chopped condition by the activity of an enzyme allinase which converts stored allin into allicin which gives pungent smell of garlic. I think you understood what it means really. Raw garlic does not have any amounts of allicin. It has a parent compound of allin. When the raw garlic was crushed or chopped, there the allinase enzyme is activated and allin will be converted to allicin. Several animal studies published between 1995 and 2005 indicate that allicin may re reduce atherosclerosis and fat deposition, normalize the lipoprotein balance, decrease blood pressure, have anti-thrombotic and anti-inflammatory activities which have been discussed in further studies. Garlic oil, steam extract of garlic is rich in allyl sulfur which blend with other vegetable oils to get beneficial effect of garlic. So, let us learn about the organosulfur compounds from the garlic. Two classes of organosulfur compounds are found in whole garlic cloves, gamma glutamyl cysteines and cysteine sulfoxides. Allyl cysteine sulfoxide that is allyl accounts for approximately 80 percent of the cysteine sulfoxides which are present in the garlic. When raw garlic cloves are crushed, chopped or chewed, an enzyme known as allinase is released. Allinase catalyzes the formation of sulfenic acids from cysteine sulfoxides. Sulfenic acids spontaneously react with each other to form unstable compounds called thiosulfinates. In the case of allin, 
the resulting sulfinic acid reacts with each other to form a thiosulfinate known as allicin. Half life in crushed garlic at 23 degrees centigrade is 2.5 days. That means it will be stored the molecule once this thiosulfinates are formed up to 2.5 days with a half life. The formation of thiosulfinates is very rapid and has been found to be complete within 10 to 60 seconds of crushing garlic. So fast the alinase will be acting on the substrates. Allicin breaks down in vitro to form a variety of fat soluble organosulfur compounds including dialyl trisulfide that is DADS, dialyl disulfide that is DADS and dialyl sulfide that is DAS or in the presence of oil or organic solvents azoine and vinyl dithins also will be formed. Crushing garlic does not change its gamma glutamyl cysteine content. Water soluble organosulfur compounds such as S allyl cysteine are formed from gamma glutamyl cysteines during long term incubation of crushed garlics in aqueous solutions as in the manufacture of aged garlic extracts. And this is also the situation at household level people prepare the garlic, they crush the garlic, they put them in the aqueous solutions before they further processing it into the various recipes. The structure of major allyl S compounds in allium genus, if you look at gamma glutamyl cysteine is the parent molecule which, which is converted to allyl where the enzyme allylinase will be reacting with allyl during cutting or chewing or when it is bruised or exposed the allylinase will be released and it will be get converts the allyl into allicin into the various forms as mentioned as dialyl sulfide or disulfides or trisulfides or azoine. The chemical structures are widely studied in the natural organosulfur compounds various allyl derivatives. As we have discussed if you look at the structural differences between the dialyl sulfide that is the single sulfur dialyl disulfide you could observe there are two sulfur molecules and in the dialyl trisulfide you can see the three that is S S S dialyl trisulfides and in the azoine and S allyl cysteine which you could see mercato mercatocysteine compounds of various derivatives. Garlic that is allium sativum is a particularly rich source of organosulfur compounds which are currently under investigation for their potential to prevent and treat many diseases. Crushing and chopping garlic releases an enzyme called allinase that catalyzes the formation of allicin. Allicin rapidly breaks down to form a variety of organosulfur compounds where we have shown earlier their structural differences. Since cooking can inactivate allinase. Some scientists recommend letting garlic stand for 10 minutes after chopping or crushing before cooking it. Very important point which the food scientists, food science and the nutrition students should learn. See as we have it has been demonstrated once it is cooked at a higher temperatures the enzyme will be deactivated. Therefore, Scientists have demonstrated after chopping or cutting the garlic, if it let stand for approximately 10 minutes, then if we use for further heat processing at least to a larger extent the formed organosulfur compounds will be retained. Otherwise, they will be deteriorated or oxidized. Several different types of garlic supplements are available commercially and each type provides a different profile of organosulfur compounds depends on how it was processed. That is very very important thing which we have to understand. Depends upon the processing various organosulfur compounds will be 
found. Many results particularly on the randomized control trials suggest that garlic supplementation inhibits platelet aggregation, but it is not known whether garlic supplementation can prevent CVD directly. The results of few epidemiological studies suggest that high intakes of garlic and other allium vegetables examples like onions and leeks may help protect against gastric and colorectal cancer. But it is not known whether garlic derived organosulfur compounds are effective in preventing or treating human cancers. So, what we have to learn from this study are organosulfur compounds are effective, but also other components which are present in these garlic, onions, and leeks are also benefit against these cancers. So, then once we know about the sources and the formation of these organosulfur compounds, then we should understand the bioavailability and the metabolism of these allicin derived compounds. Although a number of biological activities have been attributed to various allicin derived compounds, it is not yet clear which of these compounds or metabolites actually reach target tissues. Animal studies using radio labeled compounds indicate that allicin or its breakdown products are absorbed intestinally. However, allicin and allicin deriv derived compounds including dialyl sulfides, azoin and vinyl dithins have never been detected in human blood, urine or stool even after the consumption of up to 25 grams of fresh garlic or 60 milligrams of pure allicin. What does it mean? These findings suggest that allicin and allicin derived compounds are rapidly metabolized. When you could not find see these in the circulation or in the excretory, therefore, the metabolites might formed during the bioavailability and metabolism pathways. The concentration of allyl methyl sulfide in the breath has been proposed as an indicator of the bioavailability of allicin and allicin derived compounds. So, if you want to know the what could be the marker, marker is you can even collect the breath and you can analyze using the gas chromatography and you could find out these allicin derived compounds in the breathing air. Human consumption of crushed garlic and equivalent amounts of allicin that is dads, dads, azoin and allyl methyl sulfide resulted in similar increases in breath concentrations of allyl methyl sulfide suggesting that allicin and allicin derived compounds are metabolized to allyl methyl sulfide a volatile compound that can be measured in exhaled air. Therefore, it is easy actually see in any biological experiments or in a clinical trials people look at non-invasive techniques. For example, instead of collecting the blood if you could do it in the urine sample that would be more appreciated. Now, here you are using the uh, exhaled air and you are trapping these molecules and you are analyzing these using a gas chromatography. Therefore, it is a non-invasive technique. It will be much appreciated in clinical trials. The gamma glutamyl cysteines and S allyl cysteine are thought to be absorbed intact and hydrolyzed to S allyl cysteine and S1 propenyl, propenyl cysteine since metabolites of these compounds have been measured in human urine after garlic consumption. So, the consumption of aged garlic extract a commercial garlic preparation that contains S allyl cysteine has been found to increase plasma S allyl cysteine concentrations in humans. So, that way we can measure blood levels, urine levels and exhale air levels of these organosulfur compounds, so that we can assess the bioavailability and the biological effects at a target tissue. So, now we will learn about the biological properties of these allyl sulfur compounds.
particularly the regulation of NFKB pathway. In vitro studies in human T cells showed that S allyl cysteine having inhibitory effect on nuclear factor kappa B activation that is NFKB a factors regulate expression of genes encoding proteins in immune function, inflammation and cell growth regulation. NFKB function was regulated by inhibitory subunit IKB which inhibits its DNA binding activity. The TNF alpha virus protein synthesis inhibitors lectin and PMA are the major factors which regulate NFKB activity by inactivating IKB to release NFKB which moves to nucleus and activates synthesis of down regulatory proteins. So, n cysteine which is a compound comes from the garlic and the onion showed a promising result in inhibiting NFKB activation via stabilizing IKB and its activity was comparable with that of vitamin E derivatives. In the past few years several investigations have used both in vivo and in vitro models to show that garlic compounds protect hepatocytes from lipid peroxidation induced by various oxidants mediated through NFKB pathway. S allyl cysteine one of the major garlic compounds was shown to protect vascular endothelial cells from hydrogen peroxide induced oxidant injury. So, in the area of cancer a sulfur component of garlic has anti cancerous properties and showed anti tumors activity in various cancer models both in vivo and in vitro. A population based case control study involving 564 patients with stomach cancer and 1131 controls documented an inverse correlation between dietary intake of allium vegetables and the cancer risk. Anti cancer effects of allium vegetables including garlic are attributed primarily to organosulfur compounds was proportionate to sulfur content of the compounds that are in this order DATS more than DATS more than diallyl sulfide. Preclinical studies have provided convincing evidence to indicate that several natural organosulfur compound analogs are highly effective in affording protection against cancer induced experimental animals by a variety of chemical carcinogens. Intragastric intubation of DATS provided protection against colon and renal neoplasia in multi organ carcinogenesis model in male F344 rats study. Allium derivatives were known to inhibit cytochrome P450 which is responsible for activation of various carcinogens including nitrosamines, hydrazine and halogenated hydrocarbons. However, it activates phase 2 system including glutathione S transferase, phenine reductase and epoxide hydrolase. Regulation of apoptosis by allyl sulfur compound. Apoptosis is a tightly regulated process of cellular suicide which is implicated in development tissue homeostasis of multicellular organisms and various physiological and pathological conditions. Abnormalities in cell death control can lead to a variety of diseases including cancer. Activated either by internal events within the cell that is at the mitochondrial or at the cell surface death receptor or extrinsic pathway which result in the proteolytic activation of cysteine proteases that are caspases. DATS diallyl trisulfides having higher rate of apoptosis induction compared to diallyl disulfides or diallyl sulfide it can be prevented by ectopic BCL2 an anti apoptotic, apoptotic factor. Influence on calcium homeostasis to induce apoptosis by organosulfur compounds. It is well accepted that excessive intracellular calcium is frequently associated with the activation of calcium dependent endonucleases and apoptosis. An increase in intracellular calcium level upon treatment 
of HCT15 cells with dialyl disulfides has been documented which correlated with cell cycle arrest and apoptosis induction. Similar effects were observed in lung cancer cells exposed to dialyl disulfides or trisulfides. Moreover, dialyl disulfides treatment has been shown to cause a dose dependent decrease in the activity of membrane bound calcium dependent ATPase, an enzyme responsible for active extrusion of calcium. Anti atherogenic process, oxidation of low density lipoproteins and activation of nuclear factor kappa B that is NKFA B are often the chemical and molecular alterations associated with the development of atherosclerotic lesion. As we have discussed earlier about the N N uh, nuclear factor kappa B, oxidized LDL results in foam cell formation, in turn activates transcription factor, nuclear factor kappa B in the surrounding endothelial cells of vascular intima. So, naturally available antioxidants have higher values and many studies showed antioxidant properties of sulfur containing compounds in garlic. So, it might be a naturally promising compound against atherosclerosis. Further studies are also showed that antioxidant properties of sulfur components of garlic was comparable with standard antioxidant butylated hydroxytolin in prevention of T-bars formation from oxidized LDL in the presence of copper sulphate. Further reactive oxygen production from stimulated macrophages was significantly decreased in the presence of garlic components. Antioxidative properties, antioxidative properties of garlic extracts were well understood both in in vivo and in vitro studies. 7 weeks feeding of dialyl sulphide and dialyl disulfide changed rat hepatic glutathione related antioxidant activities by increasing glutathione reductase and decrease in peroxidase activity. In vitro studies showed that S allyl cysteine is able to scavenge singlet oxygen and hydrogen peroxide prevents hydrogen peroxide induced endothelial cell injury and lipid peroxidation. Recently it was reported that SAC attenuates carbon tetrachloride induced pulmonary fibrosis in rats. Neuroprotective functions, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are leading neurodegenerative disorders in which former is associated with accumulation of amyloid beta peptides in motor neurons. The involvement of oxidative stress in formation of amyloid proteins were well understood and it induces cell death where when incubated with neuronal cell lines. Aged garlic extracts at least for 10 months have improved neuroprotection with improved impaired learning and memory, neurotrophic and antioxidant activities. Prevention and advanced glycation end product formation and anti cardiovascular disorder properties. Diabetes mellitus, chronic hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia leads to micro and macrovascular complications of which cardiovascular diseases is the most serious consequence. Two meta analysis randomized placebo control human studies confirmed the hypocholesteremic effects of garlic and reduction in high blood pressure. Animal studies have shown that garlic supplementation in the diet depressed the hepatic activities of lipogenic and cholesterologenic enzymes such as malic enzyme, fatty acid synthase, glucose 6 phosphatase, dehydrogenase, 3-hydroxy, 3-methyl glutyl, glutaryl CoA that is HMG CoA reductase. The garlic extracts that contained various sulfur compounds effectively decreased the plasma concentration of cholesterol resulting possibly from an inhibitory inhibition of hepatic cholesterol synthesis. Antimicrobial activity has been shown with azoin has been shown to inhibit phosphatidylcholine synthesis in tybanosomes and garlic as a possible treatment for giardiasis used for gastrointestinal complaints especially with entamoeba histolytica. Antibacterial properties of garlic has been used for centuries in various societies to combat infectious diseases. During World War I, garlic was used to alleviate intestinal infections in soldiers stationed in the Balkans. More recently, garlic has been proven to be effective against a 
plethora of gram positive, gram negative and acid fast bacteria. Antifungal properties are also attributed with diallyl trisulfide compounds and even antiviral properties also has been attributed with allicin diallyl trisulfide azoyan to be active in the case of human immunovirus it is thought that azoyan acts by inhibiting the integrin dependent processes therefore it has been very well advocated for the hiv patients the other components are capsaicinoids capsaicin is an inuk alkaloid found primarily in the fruit of the capsaicin genus and is what provides its spicy flavor generally extracted directly from fruit high demand has driven the use of established method to increase production through extraction and characterization capsaicinoids are secondary metabolites of capsaicin family which includes chilies and peppers capsaicin that is n vanillin vanillyl 8 methyl 6e nanoimide and dihydrocapsaicin are the major components of capsaicinoids represents more than 80% of total capsaicinoid levels that is capsaicin dihydrocapsaicin capsaicin nats were found to be defense in the mechanism and their effects were less than lethal self defense weapons have been associated with respiratory failure and death in exposed animals and people the studies described here in provide evidence for acute respiratory inflammation and damage to epithelial cells in experimental animals more than 20 known capsaicinoids are all amides formed from the condensation of vanillyl amine and fatty acids of different chain lengths the forms of different natural capsaicinoids depends upon the number of lateral chain carbons or the presence or absence of unsaturations capsaicinoids are synthesized naturally in the placenta of chili fruits from enzymatic condensation of vanillyl amine and different sized fatty acid chains which are elongated by a fatty acid synthase this condensation is caused by capsaicin synthase enzyme acting specifically on fatty acid chain length which requires magnesium atp and coenzyme a and vanillyl amine the phenolic portion formed from phenyl alanine as a product in the phenyl propanoid pathway structural differences among the capsaicinoids are defined by the nature of lateral chain which ranges from 9 to 11 carbons long with a variable number of double bonds located in different positions along the chain you could see the here the various capsaicinoids capsaicin dihydrocapsaicin nor dihydrocapsaicin homo capsaicin 1 homo dihydrocapsaicin 1 n vanillyl decaminoid n vanillyl nonanamide etc so in biosynthesis in plants capsaicin consists of two components phenolic group was synthesized by phenyl propanoid pathway and fatty acid metabolism which determines the molecule fatty acid associated with it capsaicin in concentration increases gradually during fruit development reaching maximum levels at 40 to 50 days after which it tends to degrade into secondary compounds due to peroxidase action capsaicin synthesis in the plant can be regulated by manipulating substrate concentrations and water availability which could be cost effective viable alternative for increasing capsaicin production capsaicin can be can bond to transient receptor potential vanilloid previously known as the vanilloid receptor which is mainly expressed in the sensory neurons trpv1 is also broadly distributed in tissues of the brain bladder kidneys intestine keratinocytes of epidermis glial cells liver and polymorphonuclear granulocytes mast cells and macrophages contact between capsaicin and sensory neurons produces pain inflammation and localized heat sensation clinical applications in humans protection against ulcers at low concentrations that is less than 160 micromolars in rats capsaicin is reported to protect the gastric mucus against ulceration by ethanol whereas when administered at higher concentrations that is 1 to 2 mg per ml in rat stomachs it is reported to worsen damage to the gastric mucus caused by ethanol or aspirin 
that means dose is very very important regulation over adipose tissue accumulation in rodents capsaicinoids were found to be reduced adipose tissue accumulation by enhancing energy and lipid metabolism possibly by increasing catecholamine secretion from the adrenal medulla in response to activation of the sympathetic nervous system actually this is the mechanism where you this has been attributed in the weight loss programs pain relief capsaicin has been included in a topical treatments aimed at relief of different neuropathic pain conditions although it can produce skin irritation capsaicin and its analogs have been used in topical creams and patches to treat chronic pain syndromes such as post herpetic neuralgia musculoskeletal pain diabetic neuropathy osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis it has also been applied to treat pain from rashes psoriasis mastectomy and bladder disorders so in conclusion we have learned about sulfur compounds that is allyl sulfur compounds and also capsaicinoids sulfur compounds which are abundantly present in allium vegetables that is garlic and onion and leeks these compounds basically the primary compound allin when we cut the garlic or chop the garlic or crush the garlic or when you take the garlic raw and crush in your mouth their allinase enzyme will be activated and it will transform the compound allin to allicin which is active metabolite likewise there are many compounds will be transformed into diallyl sulfide di trisulfides and other azoin compounds these compounds have been attributed to as antimicrobial antiviral anti inflammatory and anti atherogenesis and anti cancerous properties have been shown people have researched because of the heat treatment the enzyme inactivation occurs what we have to advocate to the people is that once you chop or crush the garlic we have to wait at least for 10 minutes so that we will retain maximum of these allyl sulfur compounds for the human health after 10 minutes wait period then it can be further processed into the recipes by using heat treatment and other things with respect to capsaicinoids which are abundantly present in the hot pepper and chilies capsaicin molecule has been shown against the anti inflammatory as well as pain relief area also it has been shown in some of the cancers too particularly capsaicin compound has been attributed for the weight loss programs where the adiponectin levels and adipose tissues where the fat accumulation is decreased because of the capsaicin intakes so therefore consuming these foods particularly garlic onion leeks and uh, uh, capsaicin compound rich sources like hot pepper or capsicum varieties which will definitely boost the immunity in the humans and we live longer healthier happier when we choose the right combination right dose of these molecules from the various sources